Well, here's a cubic equation that didn't satisfy the requirements. 0, 4, f of 0 is 1, 4 uh we have a relative maximum at zero four and at two negative eight so zero must be a critical number because we have a local max. and it sure looks like this is an inflection point where we gone from concave downward to concave up question is how did i come up with these values a b c and d okay so here's the original function here's the first derivative Here's the second derivative. If f of 0 equals 4, that means when I put 0 in for x in this first equation, I get 0 of 4 equals b. And so we now know b is 4. If 0 is a critical number. <clears throat> that implies that when we set the first derivative to 0, x will have a value of 0. In other words, 0 is a critical number. So if I set this first derivative equal to 0, I'm saying that equals 0 when x is 0. So if I put zeros in for these x's, I get c is 0. So now I've got the values for c and d. And if 1 comma negative 2 is an inflection point, that implies two things. When the second derivative is set equal to 0, x will equal 1. If you solve that equation, and if f of and then there, if uh, one negative two is an inflection point, then f of one must equal negative two. It has to lie on the curve. So we're going to get two equations and two unknowns to solve for a and b. So here's the second derivative equal to zero. I divided both equi uh, every term by two just to simplify it, and. We move this equation true when x equals 1. So I substitute 1 for that x and get 6a plus 2b equals 0, dividing 3a plus b equals 0. If I put 1 in for x original function, I get a plus b. We know c is 0. We know d is 4. So negative 2 equals a plus b plus 4. And that means a plus b equals negative 6. If I subtract the second equation from the first one, I get 2a equals 6 equals 3. And if a is 3, b is negative 9. So there you go. That's the uh, function that satisfies the requirements. And if you do set the first derivative equal to 0, you do critical numbers. One of them is 0. And one of them is two. So there's also a local when x is two. Uh, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.